And as we start this morning, um, just a reminder in terms of Qigong that what we're doing here is connecting. Uh, there's a phrase in Qigong that says, um, start your day the Taoist way. And the Taoist uh, uh, way is a philosophy regarding nature. And the, the philosophy is that with the Taoists is that we're paying attention to nature around us as well as our own nature, our own essence. And that through this practice that we're connecting our nature with nature outside, we're honoring that exchange and that's, and we're becoming more in sync and more one. And as we do that, we're coming more into a greater flow in our lives in every way. And so uh, again, that's one of the reasons I've fallen in love with this practice. And it's such an honor and joy to share it with you. And what a beautiful time of year to, to be paying more attention to the changes and the flow of nature and how in our exchange with it. So I wish you blessings this morning as we begin um, with your own connection inside, internally and externally. So we'll take one hand in the usual manner as if we're holding a baby bird and bringing the other behind and look around the room and appreciating the miracle of our connection and exchange. And then take a moment to bow into our own space. And then let's warm up our own space with fire in the hands this morning. It's rubbing, getting that fire going in our system. And then let's bring our hands around and place them on our kidneys and close our eyes, bringing the warmth, bringing that warmth to our kidneys and some kidney breathing. As you breathe in through your nose, feeling the expansion into your kidneys. And as you exhale, feeling that in contraction. Again, appreciating the, your own blood flow, your own health, and all the cleansing that our kidneys do for us. Welcoming in relaxation for yourself this morning and grounding. And also while being in sta standing and staying inside for another moment, feeling your feet rooted on the earth, appreciating the lower part of your body, like the trunk of a tree supporting you, while also holding awareness of your upper part of your body as the branches of the tree, supporting you with your flow. And connection with that tree and your own flexibility. So breathing into that mix of strength and flexibility. And then relaxing your hands down by your sides. We'll begin with our arms up. And we're going to do our gentle turning, letting that back foot come off the floor, opening up our spines. Nice, relaxed breathing in and out through the nose. And then letting your hands come down to face the earth. Getting that mid back, being ever so gentle. Welcome, Joni. Super sweet to see you here this morning. 
and then dropping your hands down closer to the earth, bringing your mind down to that lower back, saying hello. And then coming, keeping the turning going, but coming into stillness with your legs, rooted like that tree, moving into knocking on the door of life. Gently waking your system. Waking that sea of chi, that place of power, that place from which we move in our lives that center. And then coming up underneath the collarbone, waking those lungs. And then up over the tops of the shoulders. Let go of anything from yesterday, any tightness and tension. welcoming and clear thinking for your day. Clear mind. And then dropping down underneath the collarbone again, knowing that you're bringing some good immunity to those lungs as you tap them. And then back down to that chi belt. And then keeping the turning going ever so slowly though, slowing down, perhaps closing your eyes. Remember that the mind leads the chi in this practice. Our minds move our energy along with the body and our minds are powerful. So choosing to let this gentle movement move anything out of the way from yesterday or any earlier worries, just moving them out of the way so that you can move forward in your life clean and clear, letting your soul's essence guide you. And keeping the turning going with your hands gently floating behind you and in front of you, slowing it down even more and saying to yourself, I am here. I am here rooted like a tree. Flexibility. And I am beautiful. And then coming into stillness, taking a nice deep breath, allowing yourself to notice how hopefully potentially good you feel after just that simple set of movements. How your body thanks you. And then we'll continue with our ringing out. We'll start with our right arm across our chest and our left hand over our kidney. And then we're gently gonna turn to the right, extending our hand, letting the thumb point down, opening the palm, and then letting it turn up toward the sky and then gently rotating to the left through that pinky, turning and gently looking over that left shoulder, and then coming back to center and pouring that energy down the midline of your body. And then switching hands, arms, Left arm across the chest now, pausing here, feeling, finding a good posture. 
and then gently turning to the left, looking over that left shoulder, opening the palm, feeling that gentle spiral in the arm, taking a breath, and then letting the palm go up toward the sky, opening that shoulder, and then slowly rotating to the right, leading through that pinky, it's gentle spiraling, looking over the right shoulder. Remember to keep breathing and then coming back to center and pouring fresh energy down that central channel, that central meridian. And one more time, right arm across the chest, turning to the right, opening that palm, really, really stretching the hand. and then letting it turn upwards toward the sky, and then rotating through the pinky, gently to the left, wringing out our spines, doing this nice spinal cleansing, and then back to center, pouring fresh, beautiful energy down through the midline of your body. And then switching arms, left arm in front of the chest, gently turning to the left, opening that hand, pausing, breathing, feeling that perhaps little burn, opening up new spaces, and then letting the palm go up to the sky and rotating through the pinky, turning to the right. looking over that shoulder and then coming back to center and bringing that fresh energy right down through that central channel of the body for cleansing. Okay, it's good cleansing. All right, tiger clears the way. We're gonna bring those tiger hands up. Let's take a breath, feel that gentle stretch through the spine. And this morning, we're gonna bend our knees and let them come out to the side gently, our arms. And then we're gonna bend and straighten. So it's bend and straighten, bend and straighten. So inhaling as you come up and exhaling as you let your arms float out to the side. So keeping this going at your own pace, calling up your fierceness. Really good for the legs, lower back. Calling upon your own fierceness your own inspiration, tiger energy, what's moving through you? What do you wanna also clear out? Inhaling as you come up, exhaling as you come down. One more. One more. And then as we come up, we're gonna cross our arms and let out our growl. <clears throat> Moving anything out of the way that's in our way. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so now we're gonna ignite our fire some more. So we're gonna bring our palms together and we're gonna press them like this. And as we do this, we'll be shifting our weight. So just allowing yourself to get relaxed with this movement. And then doing your mirror image, shifting the weight to your right. You're gonna look left. And then we're gonna come to center, shift the weight left, looking right. So keeping this going, 
shifting your weight, turning your head in the opposite direction, knowing that as you rub your hands together, we're working this point in the palm of our hands for the pericardium. So warming our hearts, strengthening our legs and our flexibility. And then we're gonna pause here and we're just gonna tuck the tailbone. We're gonna press our palms together, relax our shoulders, Take three belly breaths, feeling, so let's do that. And then we're gonna just slowly stand up, bring like, and let our hands come up into the sky, like a blade of grass breaking through concrete. And we're gonna gently reach up connecting with the above and what's in our hearts. And then we're gonna bring it back down. Again, remembering what's in our hearts. Remember the mind leads the chi. And then we're gonna open our hearts to the sky, taking a breath in and then heart to the earth. Nice big breath, expanding those lungs, honoring the earth, honoring the sky, remembering our inner change. And then again, continuing to ignite our inner fire. And this time as you do it, your choice, you might sink a little lower each time challenging yourself. Also being careful with your knees, just doing exactly what's right for your body. Inhaling as you come to center, exhaling as the elbow goes up. Sinking your breath, however works for you. There's no right or wrong here. It might be more comfortable to sink the breath Inhaling to one direction, exhaling to the other, whatever feels right for your body. And then once again, holding this posture, a posture of power and strength, pressing those palms together, feeling the heat in your hands and taking three nice belly breaths. And then gently coming up like that blade of grass, breaking through the concrete. Or like a flower breaking through the rocks in the mountains. Such a miracle. Connecting with the above and the mystery of life. And then bringing that back down. Bringing your feet a little closer together and then bringing our arms up over our heads and grasping one wrist, your hand, and then bending the knees slightly and gently, dropping down very slowly into for full body flow, but just hanging here for a moment, stretching the lower back, relaxing your neck and your head. Letting all that good blood flow go to your brain. And then as you're ready, gently coming up, bending the knees, coming up one vertebrae at a time, reaching into the sky, stretching the front of the body, and then gently coming back down, bending those knees, Few more times at your own pace. And 
Inhaling as you come up. Nice big stretch for the front of the body. And then exhaling as you come down. And then letting your arms as you're ready, gently float down to the side. Great. And then this morning we're gonna spread our feathers, <laughs> letting our palms just be open down by our sides towards the earth. And then dropping your head to one side, letting the ear go toward the shoulder, pausing there. Checking in with your neck, how it's doing this morning. And then as you're ready, gently letting the head move back toward the shoulder. And then gently forward, chin to chest. Gently moving back and forth across the shoulder, opening up the meridians of your neck. Clearing any tightness and tension. Where you're gently getting the front of the neck, the sides, and the back of the neck. Remember to breathe in and out through the nose. And then as you're ready, letting your chin drop forward to the midline, gently rolling over to the other shoulder, pausing as that ear goes towards that shoulder, taking a breath, feeling into that opposite side of the neck that's getting stretched. And then as you're ready, letting it roll back and forth across the top of the shoulder. Chin drops toward the chest, and then the head rolls back toward the shoulder. And then letting your head come to that central place and then come up, great. All right, so let's just shake it out, open up those arms, do anything else your body needs for a moment. All right, so we're gonna move into our flows in a minute, but let's do some shaking. Have a nice long set of flows this morning. So shaking those wrists, letting those, those wrists really open up, relaxing your neck and shoulders. And then your lower back and your knees, keeping the knees soft and your ankles, shaking it all out. Anything you need to let go of, let it go. Connecting in with that athlete in you, shaking it out. And then let's take a nice big breath and we're gonna let out the ha sound for the heart. So nice big breath. Again. One more time. And then coming into stillness, allowing yourself to feel that electricity moving through the meridians of your arms and legs, your torso.
And then from here, we're gonna bring our arms up and we're gonna hold the posture, embracing the tree for a moment and close our eyes, feeling our own rootedness with the earth and as well as our own flexibility, giving thanks for the earth and all that she feeds us with in color and food and light and moisture. And then we're gonna gently drop our hands down and we'll begin by turning to your right. We're moving into tree sways in the wind. We're gonna gently bring our the hands up along that liver meridian and then turning back to center with fingertips pointed down toward the head, not touching, and then letting our arms float out to the side. And then turning in this to your left in the opposite direction, gathering energy from the earth, cleansing both the gallbladder and the liver, and then coming back to center and letting the arms float out. So this movement is associated with the wood element. We're welcoming in more generosity and loving kindness to your system and releasing any anger and irritation your body might be holding. So gathering that goodness from the earth, more loving kindness, and releasing anything that needs to go. Inhaling as you come up gently. Little pause at the top of the breath and then exhaling as the arms float down. This movement is also very calming for the nervous system. Inhaling as you come up. Exhaling as the arms float out. You might close your eyes as you do this, those of you that are familiar with it. Gently gathering that energy, turning to center and releasing. Gathering, taking that nourishment in from the earth, letting it sink into your system and releasing. And then we're gonna let our arms float down by our sides and just relax for a moment with them down by our sides, noticing how you're feeling. The gift you're giving your body. And so now we're gonna move forward into with um, Dancing with the tree. So we're going to, well, beginning with your stepping forward with your right foot. We're going to have both of our knees soft. And then we're going to bring our hands gently down toward the earth. And then coming up. And then bringing it down into our center. So we're imagining a beautiful, possibly favorite tree in front of us. And we're 
We're shifting our weight forward, gathering energy from the trunk of that tree and bringing it down into our system as we shift the weight backwards on that back leg. So we're inhaling as we come up and exhaling as we come down. Gathering strength from that trunk and appreciating the branches of the tree and all the light filtering through it and then letting it pour into our system. Staying connected with that tree. You might, if you've got a favorite tree in your yard or somewhere in the wilderness, you might spend some time someday connecting with it, appreciating the exchange. Letting all that light that filters through the leaves in the tree, and those branches coming down into your system for cleansing and healing. And then we're going to step back. And then taking your left leg, we're going to step forward and finding soft knees. And we're going to continue with that tree or a new tree. And we're going to come down toward the earth at the base of the tree, gathering strength and energy, and then shifting our weight back onto that back leg. So finding, making sure you've got a posture that feels good to you, not letting that knee go over the toes, no straining the knee. So sinking down, gathering that energy from the tree, bringing it in. And if you're comfortable, you might close your eyes as you do this, bringing that energy in, appreciating that the exchange that's always going on, that as we exhale, we're giving the trees our carbon di dioxide. And as we inhale, we're taking in the oxygen they provide. we are dependent on one another. Again, noticing where your mind is, imagining this beautiful tree with tons of light filtering through those leaves, bringing perhaps the golden light of those aspens into the body. And then stepping forward, great. Okay, so now we're gonna move into parting the clouds. So we'll start with stepping forward with your right leg and we're gonna bring uh, our hands forward and then we're gonna flip them and they're gonna open at the heart. So we have this shifting going on. We're shifting forward and then back. Inhaling as you come forward and then exhaling as you shift back. Parting the clouds.
using this movement to open your heart and to move anything out of the way that's important to you with your own creativity, with your own love that you want to extend or exchange. And then now we're going to take it up, our hands up higher, clearing the mind. Shift back onto that back leg and coming up higher, opening the mind. Opening the mind to new perspectives. Clearing out any worries. Opening even more to your own brilliance. your own playfulness. Clearing the mind. Calming the mind, whatever it needs. More. And then stepping back and then stepping forward with that left leg, finding a stance, softening your knees <clears throat> so that when you come forward, you're not going over those toes. And then coming forward, the hands with the heart and then opening and then shifting back. Inhaling as you come forward, exhaling as you shift back. Filling those lungs and opening the heart. opening your heart in some new way and extending your heart in some new way. Feeling in to the power and hugeness of your own heart. And then bringing this up higher to the mind, clearing the mind as we part the clouds. Finding clean, clear, new perspectives. Opening to new creativity. And one more. And then stepping back and relaxing. And then we're going to let our arms hang down with our palms up. And now we're going to move into um, something called turning the wheel. It's its own kind of lovely meditation. So I'll begin with. Um, the right, uh, your right hand. So we're gonna, um, so we're gonna come up. As we do this, we're gonna come up. We're gonna come up through the midline with our kind of spiraling our pinky up the midline. And as we do that, we're gonna let our your right hip shift forward. So we're coming up through the central channel, 
and then we're making a circle and coming back down. And then we're gonna, so it's just a little shifting at the hips as you come up with that left hand, the pinky up through the central channel and then coming back down. So we'll continue with that coming up through the central channel of the body and then coming back down. And as you do this, nice and slow, the invitation is to see energy coming up the back of the spine and then down through the center of your body. And for more spinal cleansing and strengthening. So you might close your eyes if you're comfortable doing this. So you're sort of spiraling that hand, coming up the mid-channel, making a circle. And this is a, called the microcosmic orbit. It's a powerfully self-healing practice. So gently inhaling as you come up exhaling as you come back down. Letting that pinky guide as you come up through that uh, central channel and then back down. hip comes forward as you come up the central channel and then it comes back into place as the hand comes down. So it's very subtle. And then we're gonna pause here and relax. And we're gonna come up into tree pose, letting our elbows relax, our shoulders relax, containing all this beautiful energy that we have moved. Remembering that tree in our mind's eye that supported us this morning in this practice. And then we're gonna let our arms gently come down and we're gonna bring them over our head. And then we're gonna let one hand come on top of the other, not touching. And then they're just gonna come down for more cleansing across this front channel. So again, coming up and then letting one hand be on top of the other, pausing there and then gently floating down, bringing the energy down through this midline. Inhaling as you come up and exhaling as you come down. Really integrating all this beautiful movement and cleansing that you've done this morning, that we've done together. Inhaling again as you come up exhaling as you come down. And then this time, we're gonna, as you come down, we're gonna take our thumb and first finger here, and then we're gonna bring it this way and hold it for a minute. It's called cinching the belt. So we're, we're cinching this good energy that we've moved through our systems to keep it in there, cinching it in and then letting the arms come down, coming up over the head again, bringing it down through that central channel, pausing, thumb and first finger touch, and then cinching the belt, and then dropping the hands. You might let a different hand be on top of the other over the head, 
and then letting them float down. Thumb and first finger touch and cinching your belt. And then relaxing, coming up. And down. Thumb and first finger touch and cinching. I'll do it one more time. Inhaling as you come up, bringing that beautiful energy back down. Thumb and first finger touch and then cinching. And then let's bring our feet together and our hands rest on our bellies. Letting yourself drop into your own, your own solitude. Letting all that beautiful chi settle in your system. Standing like a tree. Tall and strong. and flexible. Flexible enough to relax and move with the winds when they come. And then relax your hands down by your sides. And let's thank each other for practicing together. And wish you blessings with taking that tree energy out into your day.